Ah, that's quite the hole you had there. One at the tables, was it? Well, <laughs> here's to your very good health. Cheers. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. I'll not be rolling the dice with you. Not a gambling man no more. Or so it tells myself. There were a time, though. <laughs> what happened? The River King happened, that's what. Aye, two coats. That old devil Tam Kench. He's what's happened. I was bilge poor, beg your pardon, and living in a flop house. Had nothing to me name, not till a single gold kraken. Aye, this one here came into my position. I could tell you how, but, sir, uh, you'd call me a liar. <laughs> So, with this one coin, what I ought to have done was pay me debts and find a new crew to join. I was a harpooner, see. Should have put aside whatever was left for the future. Been responsible, like. Harpooning's a harsh life, even for a younger man. But that's when the River King found me. Why work someone else's ship, he says. Slaving away, risking your life for next to nothing when you might have a ship of your own. I just had to think bigger, like. Of course, one Kraken won't buy a ship, but he had an answer to that, didn't he? Dice. One good throw of the bones, and I'd have enough to start my own little operation. Others could do the danger work, while I sits back, nice and plumb, enjoying the profits. And after a few more drinks, you understand, that crooked devil's advice starts to make a lot of sense to my ears. So, blinded by greed and possibility, I went along with it. That night were a blur. I woke well afternoon the next day, my head fairly pounding. I had no idea where I was. Some fancy bawdy house, as it turns out. But on the dresser were my previous night's winnings. More than enough to purchase myself a ship. Uh, but the River King, he'd given me a taste for something more. Why should young Lars content himself with a single ship when he could have a fleet? Just needed to chance me hand a few more times. That's Bilgewater. There's riches to be had, if you're willing to risk everything. Over and over. With old two coats armor on me, I was led from the dice tables to other halls of Everest. From backroom card games to gambling in batting parlors high and low. I spent a fortune, lost a fortune, then made it all back again. Around and around in that alluring spiral I went. I was feeling the hunger, the yearning, and it was pulling me down like a whirlpool. Years passed, and somewhere along the way, I'm ashamed to say I forgot what I was doing all this for. I forgot who I was. I had it all, but I never were enough. I wanted more. And then I started losing big. That made me double down, go for broke, all or nothing, looking for the big stakes to put me back on top. Pretty soon, I was in a worse state than I'd been to start with. Sleeping in the gutter, catching rats to eat, if I were lucky. I begged, borrowed and stole from everyone who'd ever shown me any kindness. Lost all my mates, chasing the dream. He feeds on misery, see, so does Tom Kench. As old as sin he is, and older than Bilgewater by far. Been round since the start of things, gorging himself on the desperation that comes with the, the greed and sorrow in men's hearts. <laughs> I mean, I did it to myself, but it were him what give me the means. You might say, he took me to the cliff's edge, but I were the numpty what threw myself off beg your pardon, and that old glutton reveled in me despair. <laughs> K 
came to me once more, he did. When I set me very lowest, drinking from puddles, having sold me own leg to be used for chum. In the darkest night, whispering and cajoling, he pressed this gold kraken back into my hand with a knowing wink. <laughs> Twa the same one I'd had back at the start. It was this dumb coin that started me on that wretched path. <laughs> he, uh, he opened his mouth up wide and says, It's not too late, Lars. Never too late. Come with me and we'll find you a fortune again. <sighs> Even after everything, I was tempted. <laughs> of course I was. But no. No, I resisted. Mother well, Serpent knows how. Two coats only left. Said he'd be there when I changed my mind. And sure enough, the temptation's still there. No. Every day. So here I am. Friendless. Broke. All the best years of my life behind me. Wasted in those lost decades. Can't remember most of it neither, so no idea if I even enjoyed myself. Anyways, enough of my rambling. There's a lesson to be learned here. Keep your purse strings tight and never, ever make a deal with the River King. You've always got more to lose.